Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here at Cardiff Football Ground. I'm delighted to be joined once again by Mr. Peter Fury. How are you, Peter? I'm good, thank you, young man. Thank you. It's a very quick succession. Um, this is what we need for Huey, isn't it, uh, now after the back of his injury? Yeah, definitely. Uh, keep him busy, get shake off the ring rust, and uh, fight by fight, looking for improvements every fight he has now. What did you make of his performance a couple of weeks ago on the GBM card? It's what it is. A lot of ring rust there. Um, you know, it's step by step. You know, he's not the... Uh, we're not going to get the perfect performance, so he's done enough what he had to do. It's just about getting around at this stage. It's not about competition or anything, it's about getting him back. So that's what we're looking to do. And the opponent for Saturday Night Cofty, um, is he just that next step up? Is it just about small building blocks when it comes to Huey at the minute? I wouldn't say he's a step up from the last one. I think okay. what it is with him, he's, um, yeah, he, he, he can punch. So Huey's got to be a bit sharp, work on his defence, but... Um, yeah, this similar type of opponents. You know, I'm not going to say, oh, you know, got a serious guy here. I, I, you know, what they are, the journeyman to help Yui along his way. So shake off the ring rust, and um, yeah, in the next fight, we'll see how he gets on with this, and we'll just keep stepping up. Uh, this guy's got a lot better record, obviously. So, but listen, in this game, we're not stupid. It's who you've boxed, isn't it? I could have 20 wins with tomato cans, couldn't I? So, the guy's what he is. Is it fight by fight at the minute, uh, Pia, or have you got a little bit of a long-term plan where you want to start moving through the gears? Well, listen, I'd like to win the lottery, but <laughs> that's just see where... That's just take fight by fight. He's improved uh, quite a lot from his last fight, shook the ring, shaking the ring rust off. So, uh, I'm looking for a, a nice, confident display, sitting on his shots, letting his power shots go, and... Um, a lot more variety, a lot more speed out of him, a lot more assertiveness in this fight. Do you think Huey is being underestimated as a power player in the heavyweight division? He's definitely underestimated. Yeah. Uh, probably not by the real ones who know this boxing, but general public, definitely. I spoke to Savannah um, a couple of weeks ago, Peter. She was in great form, obviously training that she's now got the PFL fight announced in Newcastle I know you're doing some striking work with her a little bit of boxing is that right yeah and uh, how is she looking she's looking fantastic she was in the gym yesterday um, yeah she's uh, she's really picking up on the MMA stuff as well so yeah it'd be a good display from Savannah but it's it's a new sport you know so I'm intrigued to uh, take her uh, ringside seat and uh, you know have, a, have, a, have a, a glass of beer or something while uh, I'm watching it. Is it going to feel strange, kind of being there, watching, because you've been in her corner, been part of her team, kind of throughout the boxing journey in the pro ranks, and it's slightly different now, isn't it? Yeah, listen, uh, it's, uh, MMA is not my thing, it's not my sport, so best leave it to the professionals. And Andy Aspinall is one of the best in the business, so she's in good hands, and I'm just going to go and enjoy it. Like I said, she's still doing the boxing work with me, the punches and stuff. So, you know, I'm expecting this. Yeah, I'm expecting a good performance out of Savannah. Last time I spoke to you was your first fight with Matty Harris. Um, how is things coming along with Matty? Yes, yeah, steady, steady with Matt. He's uh, he's in the gym all the time. He's got his head down. He's focused. And again, you know, next time out, sometime in June, looking for a lot better display out of him as well. I have been kind of keeping up to date with a few of your podcasts, uh, your new podcasts on boxing now, uh, quality watches, so anybody who hasn't watched, go and watch, but yeah, you enjoying this little foray into the podcast well, Peter? Do you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't even look at it like that, you know, yeah, for me, yeah. it's, sit, it's sitting down and having a chat, so uh, it's nice, and uh, good charities as well, dementia, motor neuron disease, I think there's one for boxers in need as well, so uh, boxing now, they're going to re re start releasing them anytime in the next seven to ten days so yeah it'd be interesting we've had some uh, some prominent people on so far as well i actually watch your podcast not your one personally but the podcast you was on with terry stone the other day um do you enjoy sitting down and kind of telling the stories of the past because it's a little bit different from the j job of training fighters and so on i think what it is uh 
yeah, I don't know what's coming with these podcasts when I get asked these questions. So you can only reply and just tell it as you see it through your own eyes and going back how things was. And if it helps people to uh, change their life around, that's, that's the key for me. So, yeah, I do it. You know, I don't really like talking about the past because, you know, I've had no good memories with it. But to speak about it and get people to come off that ladder, you know, then it's worth me doing it. So I do it the same reason why I do the boxing. So it helps people to keep away from all this uh, trouble. So peace and love is the key. It's not anything else. just want to ask you about a couple separate topics, if that's right with you, Peter. Uh, Anthony Joshua. Uh, he looks to be fighting the, either the winner of Wilder and Zhang or Dubois and Hergovic. If you was in Team AJ, uh, what one would you think would be better for Joshua? So who, who's the ones in the firing line again? Okay, so Hergovic is fighting Dubois. It could be the winner of that. Or Zhili Zhang is fighting Deontay Wilder. It could be the winner of that. I think they're both good matchups, yeah, aren't they? Know. <laughs> you know, you've got to be, you've got to be interested. Um... I fancy Joshua in both of them, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. How confident are you that Anthony Joshua does become a, world, a three-time world champion? Yeah, I think he can. You know, why, 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 why can't he? He's got all the attributes there. And uh, this job's all about experience, you know. The champions are the ones that's get that, that get down and get up. You know, it's not all about winning all the time. You know, so it's going to be uh, interesting. I think, listen, he's a, <coughs> he's a nice fella. He's talented, so he works hard. Yeah, sure, he can be a third-time world champion. Why not? Do you think it's a good move, him teaming up with Ben Davison? I do, because he yeah. seems to be... His mental state's better. He's got more confidence there. He's sitting on his shots. So I think it's a very good move. Just last one. I'm not sure how up-to-date you are with this one, but have you could, with everything with Ryan Garcia? Um, obviously, he beats Devin Haney. He comes in three-and-a-half-pound overweight, and now he's tested positive for a Varda banded. Uh, drug it's not looking good for Ryan have you been keeping up to date with it Peter I haven't but I've seen something where the VADA commission's resigned or something I've seen some of that it's all a lot of shit to me uh, you know what hang on a minute why after the event why after the event you're getting tested we've been VADA tested yeah it's every day so why has it took so long to come back anyway so I, I think it's all a lot of shit to be honest Excellent. Peter, thank you very much for being to IFL TV. Uh, best luck with Huey on Saturday night and hopefully uh, yeah, see him in the ring, getting these wins and back in the big fights. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.